Okay, today is Friday, the 21st of December. This is the uh, very, very final day of the trip. Okay, we've now cycled 9,200 kilometers through uh, 14 countries. We've also visited 22 countries altogether. And uh, Meda, she's been with us for 19 of those countries. So now the three of us are back together for our final day. Now we're biking to Jamie's school. Mm -hmm. yes. Now we all of us free team. This is what the team mm -hmm. will be in the whole trip. Mm -hmm. Okay, so now we're on the island of Foon. This is the island where we come from. Yesterday we were on Shellen. This is Foon. Um, now we're in Odense. This is the biggest town here, right in the center of uh, Foon. Behind us, this is Hans Christian Andersen's uh, birthplace. It's now a museum. And uh, Hans Christian Andersen, he's a writer of uh, fairy tales. So he was born here in 1805. You may know fairy tales like the ugly duckling and the little mermaid this kind of thing so yeah he's the most famous person in of this town which is what this town is known for so that's it now we uh yeah have the last 15 kilometers to do to jamie's school i'm going to be actually cycling on a cycle path that i've used for many years when i used to work here in Odense. that's what we're doing yes. at 10 30 we should arrive at jamie's school so you ready to go yes yes okay let's go okay, this is the main high street here in Odense. Actually allowed to cycle here until nine o'clock. We can just about do that. Show you the high street. This is the main town square here. Just right in front of me now. This is the church here in Odense. Froggy's Cafe, probably going there one of the days. Next few days, have a nice Christmas lunch in there. This is a very cozy old street in the winter. In the awesome time, they have a Harry Potter festival here in the town. And they decorate the street to be uh, Di Diagon Alley. people in the world, now it's time to have some Danish people on the pictures. <laughs> this is called Thor. Good? Meal, I think. Okay, so now we have about five kilometers to go until we get to Jamie's school. It'll be strange to think about that uh, this evening we don't have to find a hotel, we don't have to find a camping spot in the mountains. We know where the water is, we know uh, the house is nice and warm. <laughs> well, the last few months have been very easy in uh, Southeast Asia, but uh, of course, Central Asia. That was a different story altogether, but uh, yeah, now it's soon over and then we just have to adapt to our normal lives again. So that's uh, going to be interesting to see how that is. Now, uh, we have a very different outlook on the world compared to when we set off 10 months ago. But luckily a very positive outlook on the world. We've met uh, many, many kind, friendly, hospitable people along the way. That's what made this uh, 
trip fantastic. Hey Jamie, one kilometer to go. Yes. After a 10 month trip, what are we doing now? Seeing the class. Okay, which way is that? This, this way. way, okay, let's go. One kilometer to go. Jamie's back at his school. Yeah! <laughs> 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 Ready to uh, Jamie's school here. Come on, say hello. Hello. <laughs> so we made it to Jamie's school. He's uh, yeah, spending a few hours now with his class. It's the last day of term, so they're having a bit of a Christmas party in there. So yeah, lots of cakes and uh, we bought some fruit from uh, Thailand. He's uh, sharing out as well. So that was great. Well, this is uh, Langesu in Danish Long Lake. This is a lake uh, just a one kilometer from our house where we're living, the town of Mol. So while uh, Jamie's having some fun with his friends, we'll uh, just find a bit of lunch. Well, this is the forest where I used to go running and cycling, and yeah, that's nice, it's quite nice. Just come out the house and go for a nice run through the forest here. fashion in just a few kilometers outside the little village where we live. And now we're just having some Danish lunch when we wait for Jamie uh, to finish school. And we have a very traditional Danish lunch. Yeah. What is this called? Smørbrød. <laughs> it's good I have made it to say this. It's not so easy for an English person <laughs> to say. And this is what an English guy is having here. Looks very festive. <laughs> okay, so we uh, don't necessarily live far from here. Forest just behind the trees there, but uh, our house is still rented out at the moment, so we're not uh, going back yet. We're actually staying with Meadows' parents the next week during Christmas here. And now we have the last uh, eight kilometers to a town called Sunna, so that's where Meadows' mom and dad are living. So that'll be the end when we get there. So eight kilometers to go, and then we are.
This is the very, very, very last 10 meters or so. <laughs> We have now cycled our very, very last kilometer on this trip. <laughs> so 9,208 kilometers cycling. So as I said before, this trip's not about how many kilometers or where the destination, it's all about the trip itself. And it's been a fantastic trip. So now we're here, take the bags off, go inside, and uh, I think we'll have a rest. <laughs> now we're just taking the last bag off in 2018 on let's go biking.com channel okay so that's uh, the end of today and the end of the tour um yeah today's a day to celebrate jamie um just amazing what he's been able to do at uh, 11 years old i'm not sure if he's the only 11 year old to uh, complete a trip like this uh, cycling from europe to southeast asia but if he's not, he's certainly one of the very few. It's just amazing what he's been able to do, the courage and the strength to complete it. But uh, the two would never be the same without him. He's uh, been amazing at uh, creating so many amazing experiences for us with the people he talks to. And uh, yeah, so many good things have come out of the fact that he's been with us. So he uh, he deserves uh, yeah, all the praise he's getting today. It's uh, his class, they gave him a very warm welcome back to his school and he's been looking forward to seeing them for a long time so that was uh, that was nice to see he's uh, looked forward to it and that was great and also thanks to everybody that's uh, followed along on the trip it was never uh, my intention or idea to make 257 videos when we first uh, set out i just thought maybe once in a while we could make an update but uh, it's been nice to see so many people enjoying watching them and uh, liking them and commenting on them uh, that's been great. Really so, pleased we have these uh, these movies now and actually we're going to start watching them from the beginning ourselves and uh, yeah, should have some good memories we have to look back on. Now. So yeah, that's it. We are going to take it easy now for a few days and we'll be staying here with Meadows' parents for over Christmas and uh, New Year. So yeah, taking it easy. So uh, yeah, Merry Christmas everybody. Happy New Year. We all will see you next year.
Okay, now we just been to a shop and you have seen on the video there was a pickup, there was dancing and now Daddy wants to show how to do it. <laughs> <laughs> and this is a dance. And what do you think about that? I think it's very good. I think you could get a job here as a peacock dancer. Must I have a good place so I Never ending wave dance. And now she's got st stuck to a bush. <laughs> it's hot and it's really hard biking, and so I'm feeling how I'm stuck in a thing. I can't get out. I just want to go and sit in this shade. 